One of my favorite parts about coming to the store with you is that I always end up finding things I did not know existed. I know that, you know, there's like corn flour and like wheat flour and so on and so on, but there are so many different flours. There's hazelnut and almond flour and I mean, cornmeal, like it just goes on and on. It's so interesting to me that so many different variations of the same thing too I've noticed that with certain dishes like all over the world we have the same dish it's just named differently or it has like a tweak but at the end of the day like everybody has their version of tortillas you know everybody has their version of a dumpling um, empanadas uh, it just it's just really interesting how different cultures use something as rice or beans or potatoes or just anyways just thoughts because like look at this cherry date nut bar with hazelnut flour wouldn't that be amazing like what would you use almond flour for i'm thinking like bread or cookies or can you just use it for like anything can you make tortillas out of it i don't know i'm gonna have to look that up because that's really interesting i would love to know if i can make some there's so many possibilities in my head right now. Hello, welcome to Fox City ASMR. Thanks for coming and shopping with me today. Santhan gum, what is that? It's made from the... Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Let me see, it says, uh, Santhan gum is made from the outer layer of a tiny inactive bacterium called Santhomonas campestris. It is an excellent all-purpose thickener for dressing, gravies, and sauces. That's really cool. I didn't know it, it actually thickened things. That's so cool. I learn something new every day. Another thing that I have to try is this muesli. Is that, is that how you say it? Muesli? I've never had it, but I've heard really good things. My boyfriend loves this type of thing. He likes it hot. But it says I can have it cold, so I'm going to have to go back and grab one of these bags. Right now we have a lot of oatmeal, so I'm thinking that would be like a cold breakfast. That would be good. Especially, um, I've heard that like you can add like fruit and nuts and, and just add milk. So yeah, it's like a cereal. Like, yeah, like any, any cereal. What's your favorite cereal? Maybe I can grab it next time I come to the grocery store. Let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for new cereals. We have certain days because my kids have breakfast at school. They also have breakfast here because they wake up at like five or six in the morning. So they can't wait till like nine o'clock when they go to school to eat. So we do certain days like on Mondays at school, they have a uh, cereal so we don't do cereal on Mondays but I do try to you know give them different cereals so they try different things one of the things my mom did when I was a child is that she would just get the same exact cereal over and over and over again and it was just breakfast wasn't very fun and then till this day I don't really like breakfast I'm more of like a lunch and dinner type of person I do try to eat earlier in the day just because well I have two kids and we burn a lot of energy running around after them oh, have you ever tried the C&H forable brown golden sugar I assume the golden sugar is just like the light sugar in the, in the little bags down there and today I was getting some things for brownies and cookies. Sometimes we bake at home. It's one of the things that my son can actually help me with. And he is really good at it, so he measures everything and he helps me uh, sometimes sift the flour and things like that. But we do make muffins and things like that a lot. So we do go through these a lot again. But let's see. I love the packaging that this specific what is it called? Guitard? Is that how you say? Guitard or guitard or I don't know. <laughs> if you're new to Fox City, it's a mod. 
English is my second language, and I don't even think that this is a English word. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, the lemon berry cookies. These are my favorite. If you get a chance, grab some. If you like lemony things, this is this is the cookie. I have not tried the brownie filled chip chips of I like the soft chewy ones in the blue bag. But this one, the lemon Oreo, is so good. And I also like the carrot Oreos that they have. I have not tried the mint one. But oh my god, I'm not just watering, I'm just looking at these. <laughs> I don't think I've, I have any uh, chocolate at my house right now, but I am due for another grocery haul soon, so I'm going to have to go get some of these lemon cookies. Something about Oreos. The only other Oreo style cookie that I like are the ones that Trader Joe's. Have you tried their? I forgot what they're they're called, but it's their brand of Oreos, and it's really, really, they're really good. I know some of the major brands also have their brands at Trader Joe's. I think Trader Joe's has like a deal with like really like high end brands that make like a different product for their store specifically with a different name. So maybe Oreo is one of those partners that Trader Joe's has, I don't know. But they're really good and they always remind me of these specifically. And I've tried other style Oreos like from different brands and none of them compared to that one especially. Today I had this, uh, I don't know if you, if you have a Safeway, they do Monopoly game every year every year where they give you like certain tickets and then you scan the code and it gives you free items or points so that you can get gift cards and stuff like that but i actually had a couple of free items that i had to get and this is this was one of them which was one box of pasta for free also if you have a rewards card with safeway which i think a lot of grocery stores do here in the united states they sometimes like they send like free items and, un unto the card so if you have like an online little app now which a lot of people do i know walgreens has it safe has it, but it's just like free items that just pop up on your feed and it's really good and i always end up grabbing a couple of things when you see me grabbing like individual items sometimes if they're free or just like random items that i normally wouldn't buy i also had one jar of pasta for their signature select brand Usually it's the Safeway brand, the free items, like the pizzas or the bread or things like that. But they're really good and they're inexpensive and it's free. As you can see right here, the little Monopoly guy. The game was still going. It's over now, but every year, even last year during the pandemic, which I don't know how that worked, giving out people a bunch of little pieces of paper every time. Different, but I like to get the four cheeses one. I really like that one. I also like the onion and garlic, but they're all really good. The vodka sauce is really good too. The mushroom onion. I am getting so hungry just looking at all of these different things. And I can't wait to start making dinner today after I pick up my kids. My favorite aisle, or at least one of my favorite aisles. I got this golden curry. The, was it, is this the red or the, yeah, it's mild, and it's definitely mild. I would recommend it for your kids. It's really good. It's just like a beef stew. Really, really good over rice. Oh. We had it with some tortillas, like uh, flour tortillas. It was really good. And I've also tried some of the, on the left-hand side, some of the sauces that you can add to, like, a stir-fry. They're kind of like your basic, like quote-unquote uh, favorite, I feel like, American sauces when it comes to like Chinese food, or I think they also have some Japanese sauces up there too. I want to try this curry too in a little bag. Have you ever tried this brand? I try to shop, when it comes to Asian products, I would try to shop at Chinatown or in Japantown. Or there's this new Korean market that I still need to go. I'm still trying to figure out because it's pretty far far away from where I live it's kind of in the outer sunset area so I'm trying to trek it and plan it out what I want to get it seems to be really busy there all the time so I want to get there as early as possible I can do that at like eight o'clock but they have guys like they have a wall of just ramen and they have like a wall of just like 
creamy food and like a wall of of um, different uh, chips and just I am really excited of going and, and filming there if I can. But regardless, I'm really excited to go and just shop items. But every once in a while, especially during the pandemic, I try to get all my groceries someplace. And it's just really nice that Safeway has a lot of different products from different parts of the world that I could grab. I still haven't gone into the mission. I need to go shopping at the Mexican stores there. And there's so many things I haven't been able to go get. My mom's been really nice and she's been great. Um, she lives about two hours away from San Francisco. And whenever she has come in, and her boyfriend lives here in San Francisco, but whenever she has come in to visit, um, she always brings me some some items from where she lives because they have a few Mexican stores there, or I should say just like overall Latino stores. But here in San Francisco, they have like different, it's not just like Mexican stores, there's like Salvadorian stores and Puerto Rican stores where you go and just get stuff from certain countries. Um, there's a Filipino store that I haven't been to in years that I just remembered. Oh my gosh, I need to look it up if it's still open because... They had some of the best already pre-made food there. I'm just making myself hungry today. I'm sorry if I'm making you hungry today. <laughs> oh, this rice seasoning, it's my daughter's favorite. She loves this on avocado. This one, I think, is a new one. It's this is more sea like with more seaweed in it. But my favorite is this one. one I add that on almost everything and the yakisoba I add it to over rice I add it to eggs it's really good and it's just one of those extra things that can really like make your rice just taste so much better than just with salt this is like more for like white rice as you can see from the picture but it's really good I highly recommend it I think it's like three or four dollars at Safeway. You could probably find it at your store. But yeah, these are two of my favorite ones. I still haven't tried the wasabi one. And I think I'm gonna be having to go back and get it again. And these you can store in your pantry, but once you open it, you wanna refrigerate it. And it'll tell you like on the little label that it has that you need to refrigerate it. Always check, even if you think but you can keep it in your pantry. You should check what the bottle says and keep it in your fridge. Another thing I was going to ask you about is I have to clean out my pantry. And I was wondering, should I film it? Should I make a video about cleaning my pantry? Obviously, there'd be like a no talking version and a soft spoken version. And I'm just waiting on that, so I am doing voiceover today on this. Ooh, these stir fry ones, they're a little sweet. They're like on the sweet side, but they're really good. Like, you know, like, I don't know, there's just something about it that even though they're sweet, I still want to go back and eat them. But, anyways, let me know in the comments or give this a like if you want me to do a pantry video. I would love to do that one and I've been waiting to organize it and go through it and you know throw away things that have expired and see what I have we can also check out my roommates pantry section I'll show you guys that too and if you guys like that video I probably will make it into a series I've already had a couple of friends that have given me the okay to go through their pantries so I think that's going to be really fun and I can't wait to do that, but I want to spend my energy on the things that you want as well, so let me know if that's a good idea. We'll probably say yes, but just in case, you know, maybe there's something else that you want too. When I'm going back to Trader Joe's, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while, I'm going to go to a new place this week and film, I'm going to the Union Square location. I asked one of the employees there, I was like, hey, would it be okay if I film? I do ASMR, first person uh, shop with me vlogs. And he was like, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem as long as you're not filming other people. And I don't plan on filming other people because that's not the point of these vlogs. 
Um, so I think it's gonna be great. I'm gonna go pretty early in the morning. Well, first I'm gonna call and see when it's when it's their least busiest time, if that's an appropriate use of words in the English language, and see if early is actually better because it is downtown and the country pretty much 100% opened up this week so it might be really busy you know there's a lot of people going back to work and there's a lot of people visiting San Francisco it is a tourist area so I want to go when I am the least when the le excuse me I want to go when there is the least amount of people so that I can film naturally and not speed things up or, or you know exaggerate things because I am trying to find that that perfect kind of mix for myself um, obviously my earlier videos were a bit more natural because I was new so I didn't get too caught up in it but now that I know so much more and I am really having a little bit more fun with it and people's requests are coming in I want to find a little mix of things where it's on the more natural side of things because I do like the more natural side of things. It's just so much, I don't know, it just, it's so nice to see somebody just go about their day, isn't it? Sometimes, like, it's just, I love watching vlogs of, um, it ends up being that it's mostly, uh, well, at least if you know any other creators, please tag them down below, leave me some links, I would love to check them out. But I, I love a lot, I, I know I've said this before in other vlogs, but I love, uh, let me look it up right now. I will always travel for food. I love his channel. He does no talking uh, walkthroughs of places, of stores. He also does first person. He just walks around his life in Japan and, and kind of films it sometimes for us. And it's really nice and calming and just, I love his videos. If you, if you've seen his videos, um, let me know again in the comments. And if you have any of that kind of style of YouTubers, link them down below. I would love to check those out. It's one of those things where I'm just having like a really bad day. It's nice to put somebody else on just having a quiet, nice moment. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you do because you're here with me shopping and checking out Safeway. Ah, yes, the flower department. My friend was working at the flower department and she was nice enough to let me do a little bit of filming around here. Well, it's not like she was like, yeah, of course you can film, but I just mean like she was quiet and and she, she's very supportive. She's like, oh wow, that's so great that you're doing this. You know, let me know what you need from me. And it was just really nice. I never really pay attention to the flowers over here. It's right next to the Wells Fargo, the bank. And it's always very crowded. And it's one of those areas right next to customer service. So again, very crowded. But today it was pretty quiet. And I love these little ones. A lot of great ones. I usually get my flowers at a couple of flower shops down in North Beach or in Chinatown or wherever in that neighborhood I am. Um, these are really sweet. Kind of like these more filler flowers. See, I would just have like a vase just full of these flowers because they're so, they're so beautiful. Are they considered flowers? Let me know. I think I think so, right? I mean, yeah, because it's filler flowers. I don't know about these bright colors. See, that's the thing. I do like bright colors. Then there's faces where I want more of just like the same tone of color. I do like making. Have you ever made these like bright, bright blue flowers? And um, you could usually I used to make them with carnations when I was little. But you cut the tip over and you put food coloring inside the water, and like it will make the white flower, whatever color you put in there. It's pretty cool when it comes to like arts and crafts with your kids I highly recommend doing that if you have a couple or if you have some if you find any white flowers that you could do that just like cut the bottom part so that it can like drink the water and it will start turning 
that color. So with blue, purple, whatever, sometimes they'll come in almost like a tie-dye where certain parts are, are colored and then the other part's still white. It's pretty cool. I still have to do that with my kids. I think they'll, they'll really like it because it's this gradual thing that you wake up every day and you see like, oh man, it's, it's a different color. Pretty great. But yeah, they have a really good selection here. Sometimes it's a bit expensive because they're not like, they don't last as long for them to be the price they are, but they're pretty, pretty great. I ended up getting these two for the house, the, the little flowers for the kitchen, and the other ones for my kids' room because it's just a little bit more brighter. I'm not the type of person that buys flowers, but recently they're always an expense that I never... I've never been able to afford when I was younger. Like, there was other things more important than buying, like, $10 flowers. You know what I mean? Like, I had to pay my bills and buy food and things like that. <laughs> but since the pandemic, I've noticed that, like, I start... It's just having living things around, like, a plant or, or just flowers around just really does help with, you know, getting out of that, like negative space like walking into the kitchen and seeing something pretty and alive it, it really does help sometimes and it puts a smile to my face and it just kind of brightens up the day and I feel concerning my mental health and everyone else's like ten dollars for lifting up my spirit for a few days is not that bad you know I should put it into my budget to to do that and I know sometimes like what budget you know what I mean like there's no there's not even a quarter at the end of the day sometimes I get it I've been there like you know I've had those worries but but every once in a while even if it's a wild flower you know take it and put it in put it in a little water and it'll last you for a day or two for a couple of days it will brighten up your day I actually picked out this like little weed uh, up the street and one of the streets is with this blue flower and it almost bluish purple and like everything else the leaves are purple and the flower is kind of blue but it was just this wild flower on the sidewalk and I took it and it has little roots and I'm hoping it it stays alive but I brought it in and I look at it every day and I water it a little bit if it needs it and I'm just hoping it survives but you know even little things like that just brighten up the day I suggest that you see a little flower and, it, and, and it, you can legally take it <laughs> and put it in a little or another thing I used to do when I was little and I couldn't afford flowers something fun to do if you have kids or just just have kids like uh, or just to do even if you don't have kids is just to put a couple of beans um, in like a clear jar and then get uh, some cotton balls or yeah, cotton balls work best, but you could do a, like a like a paper towel, maybe. Yeah, you could use a paper towel and just soak it up and just put it over the beans and put it by a window or outside, and you'll see it in like a day or two. It'll start growing out, and it's one of my favorite things to do because it is just beans, but it's so fun to see it flourish and that you're watering it and it's growing and it, and it's very fast. It grows very fast, and I've always had. Um, I've always been able to grow it any time of the year just by putting it by the window. So, but I highly recommend it if you just need some greenery in your house or if you need like a small project or something just to give you a smile in the morning. It's like, oh wow, you grew half an inch in the middle of the night. That's so cool. I find it cool anyways. Let's see, what are we getting today? I'll probably end up getting the same salad that I get every day. Really have they have the same things? They do have a, a variety of salads, but a lot of the dressings are like really thick and creamy, and I like more like thinner on the thinner side. This maple bourbon bacon, oh, it's so good! I need to figure out how to make it myself, but it's so good, and it just has just the right amount of everything. If you feel like it doesn't have enough dressing. I highly suggest to um, toss it like I usually I have tongs that I use like these tiny tongs and I toss the salad in the bowl and then I let it set for a second 
because that way like the leaves will get a little moisture and it will like make it like it just ends up working out where like every bite you have has a little bit of dressing on it and it, I think it's perfect and I have to say I wasn't going to do soft spoken today because there is some construction going out outside but I just I don't know I just sat here and I was like oh I'm not gonna do it and then something inside me was like no get up right now you have five seconds to either get up and do this for, for us for you and I or you're gonna sit here for another hour and not do anything and then tomorrow you're just gonna feel worse and I counted a five and I made myself get up and I put my computer to charge I found my headphones and the microphone and I just got really pumped up and really excited about this soft-spoken series I feel like we're working on it it's still kind of experimental but we are figuring out what we want from it and I think that's really great I'm really enjoying these I was very nervous at the beginning I always at the beginning of each soft-spoken vlog I feel like I get really nervous and I don't know how to start something but I'm just gonna start start stuff <laughs> instead of worrying about how it's gonna I'm just gonna do it put it out there if you don't like it give it a thumbs down if you like it give it a thumbs up tell me what we can improve you know everyone is different and we all like different things but we're working on this together and we want to make these videos I want to make them and I know that you want to watch them and if we can do this right it will be great <laughs> oh I really like these flowers I have a lot of energy today three cups of coffee and I like ran around I was going to go do my laundry I have to walk two blocks down the hill to go do my laundry and then two blocks up but today it's hot and everybody's out and about and everybody was doing their laundry and so I had to come back with my bags two blocks up <laughs> so that's why I was feeling kind of like down like I can't do the soft spoken but I powered through and I wanted to because and now I feel genuinely excited about this and maybe it's not going to be too soft-spoken because I'm too excited but I just figured I can talk your ear off we can de-stress fall asleep work study just hear the sounds just you know kind of just be in our own little world for a second these balls I always think I should grab one for my kids and then of course my daughter starts eating it and the other one throws it and no matter how many times you tell a child, don't throw the ball inside the house, they go, okay, and then they throw the ball inside the house. <laughs> so from now on, whenever I see that they're really like, just have a lot of energy, we do dance parties now. And every single time I'm gonna get upset, I'm just like, come on, I've told you like 10 times, like, no, don't throw the ball out. I'm just gonna start, okay, dance party, let's get this energy out, let's enjoy ourselves for a second instead of getting mad at each other for a ball but I always end up coming to the balls and getting a new one or just getting really excited about like, oh my daughter's gonna love this one or my son's gonna love this one. Oh, another free item that I got today was this baguette. Again, they give you a lot of free items on the Safeway app. If you don't have it, just download it and link it to your rewards card. It's free, Safeway, it's free to have a rewards card. And these free items go with like whenever you shop they'll give you discounts they'll give you free items that's how i end up using or trying new things too it's like i'll go and like oh you're giving me a free item i'll check it out and sometimes i really like it and i go back and i buy it again there's a lot of items that i do that with where i go okay i wasn't sure about the price or maybe even the flavor or what was in it but then you gave me a free coupon to grab a slice or grab whatever and I end up liking it and it's worth it. And I think brands should do that. Ooh, I have a narrow line. I have not tried this one, but I do really want to. Have you tried this one? I love kettle, kettle, uh, the, the kettle brand chips. They're really good. The Parmesan garlic is one of my favorites now. One of my absolute favorites. Although I have been eating a lot more chips recently since I've started making these videos. It's one of this, those things where it's like, I'm happy, I want to eat. <laughs> I'm sad, I want to eat. But now I just go shopping. I, ha I have to eat before I go on these shopping hauls. Otherwise, I just start grabbing things that I want to eat at that moment. 
but then I have to walk home with all these groceries so it kind of ends up not working out because I end up having to walk with all the groceries <laughs> I get too excited at the at the grocery store you know once I'm once to get me there it's hard but once I'm there I just want to take everything home with me anyways thanks so much for shopping with me today I can't wait for our next grocery shopping trip I hope you guys are having a good day, night, whatever day of the week it is. I hope it's a good one. Alright, I'm gonna go pay and then bag these groceries up and walk home. Hopefully the bus is coming soon and maybe I can be sneaky and jump on and not have to walk all the way there. <laughs> Alright, bye.